Left to the mercy of the soft and lapping Indian Ocean, the islands of the Maldives have been sculpted and formed into unquestionably one of the most quintessentially beautiful tropical places on the globe. Ranging from the beautiful 17th century mosque to powdered beaches of the northern atolls and the earthy sea shacks and fishing hamlets of the southern isles, the whole nation can be found strewn across the turquoise waters some way from the Indian subcontinent. Stay till the end to find out one of the strongest places the president of Maldives held cabinet meetings. Most don't linger long before they hit the seaplanes or boats and make for the shimmering private base of their chosen resorts, where infinity pools and overwater cabanas are the norms. More recently, new local guest houses and the discovery of rolling waves have begun transforming the Maldives from a honeymoon hotspot to a surfing, adventure, and backpacking destination. Destination. Paradise is now open to all, it seems, so let's explore the best places to visit in the Maldives. Male. What better place to start exploring the top Maldives attractions than its pine sized capital, Male? Famed for its ancient mosque, colorful buildings, turquoise waters, and swaying plant trees, Male is one of the best places to explore in the Maldives. Surrounded by heritage buildings on one side and shades of blue and green on the other, you cannot afford to miss this beautiful city on your Maldives trip. From strolling the streets, buzzing with lively markets, to learning about Maldivian history, there are so many interesting things to do in Male. Thrumming with scooters and cars and Indian bazaars stacked with coconuts and spice, the city of Mali, the capital of the Maldives atolls, has the frenetic feel of a place crammed into a slot that's too small for it, and that's because it is. Although rarely visited, most travelers bypass the city on seaplanes heading straight for their resort. The town is crammed onto a pine-sized islet in the North Mali Atoll. It manages to fit some fascinating sights between its streets though, like the 17th century Friday Mosque and the gold-tipped Islamic Center. Mali Market is another must, just be sure to get your haggling skills up to scratch. Hulhumale Island Sat just across the sparkling waters from the capital of Mali, the island of Hulhumale is forever growing and growing as more and more land is reclaimed to house the sprawling urban tendrils of the city. It's also the home of the Vilana International Airport, which is the main gateway to these paradisiacal islands for most. However, don't be put off by how all that sounds. Hulhumale is a charming place. It's got a gorgeous, if artificial, beach on its eastern haunch, a clutch of leaves neighborhoods, a glass-topped mosque, and plant promenade walkways above the Indian Ocean. Mao Fushi Mao Fushi might not have the sprawling luxury resorts and opulent five-star hotels that many of its nearby brothers do, but it's got plenty of charm. Sadly ravaged in the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, the place has been busy rebuilding its salt-washed fishing jetties and industrious sailor huts in the last decade. Something that's helped is the opening up of rights to local guest houses, which is transforming Maafushi into one of the top offbeat island getaways for budget travelers. Of course, you can expect gorgeous beaches backed with palms, lapping waves, and a clutch of homey little coffee shops on the shore. Uthimu Sat on the far northern reaches of the Ha Alif Atoll, itself the northernmost of all the Maldivian island chains, the beautiful site of Athimo holds a special place in the history of this archipelago nation. That's because it was once the home of the revered Sultan Muhammad Thakurufanu, the leader who is credited with driving out Portuguese invaders from the isles in the late 16th century. Of course, there are the usual sparkling white sands and lapping Indian Ocean waves, but these are punctual by heritage sites like the Uthimo Ganduvaru, which is the gorgeous timber-built palace where the respected leader grew up. Fedhu Fedhu's story is a curious one. In the 19th century, the people now living between the leafy streets and tight-knit housing blocks here were the inhabitants of nearby Gan Island. When the British came in the run-up to World War II, Gan was transformed into an airbase, and the locals were shipped out to live on the next island along the Sino Atoll. That was Fade Who, which is today a pretty picture of lived-in Maldivian life. Come and stroll the winding walkways and sample seafood curries with the locals. The welcome is always warm. Maradhu 
joined at the hip to the aforementioned fade hoop by a seaside causeway that runs just above the coral-fringed shores of the Sinu Atoll, Maradhu is a major link in the island chain that starts with Gan to the east. Long and thin, it juts out into the Indian Ocean like a finger fringed with narrow beachfront and swaying roofs of coconut palms. As in Feidhu, the locals are laid back and lovely, and the cuisine is spicy and rich in seafood. Be sure to take a walk down Link Road and flip between the coffee shops and sandwich vendors that meet between the palm trees there. Veligandu Island Romantic sunsets glow red and yellow over the lapping waters of the Indian Ocean. Cocktail clinks in the resort's luxurious bar, sea kayaks bob on the turquoise shoreline, and crystal clear waves roll in softly from the inland lagoon. Welcome to uber beautiful Veligandu Island, which has long been championed as one of the top destinations in the Maldives for couples. Honeymooners and newlyweds are a common sight on this long, thin finger of land on the western edge of the North Ari Atoll, and there are plenty of opulent seaside villas and suites to match. Banana Reef Many travelers heading to the islands of the Maldives will be coming for one thing and one thing only, diving. And there's hardly a single place better to don the scuba gear and wetsuits in the country than at the Banana Reef. This fruit-shaped dash of multicolored corals and seaweed-clad sea banks lies underwater between the isles of the North Mali Atoll. It's served by countless outfitters who lead excursions to uncover the striped snappers and bulbous sponges, the reef sharks, and the barracudas that all coalesce here. The Luce du Island It's the spirit of the salt-washed Caribbean that seems to drive to Luce du Island. Largely undiscovered, this speck in the Mali Atolls is wrenched by wide spaces of sand from which bulbous coconut trunks sprout by the hundred. The beaches are, naturally, great, and the locals love to draw in their fading fishing boats to flint up a good sizzling seafood barbecue now and then. That all fits perfectly with all the other pastime of travelers on Toulouse du. Surfing. Look for the fun left hand rollers that turn into barrels off of Vilingi Limathi Huraa close by. Fuva Mula. Fuva Mula promises something a little different to the rest of the Maldivian atolls. For starters, this speck on the map of the Indian Ocean doesn't have any near neighbors, and it occupies an atoll all of its own. It's all peppered with the occasional inland lake, which is a rare sight to see in this flat lying country. Meanwhile, the sandbanks that ring popular banging beach make for some crashing rollers and refreshing salt spray, a break from the usual relaxing lapping lagoons, and the proximity to the Earth's equator means steamy weather throughout the year. Thank you for waiting patiently. Here's the promised bonus fact as a token of our appreciation. Did you know a cabinet meeting in Maldives was held underwater? Yes, you heard it right. In 2009, the president of Maldives, Mohamed Nasheed, organized a meeting of all cabinet ministers at the seabed to raise awareness about the dangers the oceans of the world are facing and how humans are interfering with freshwater resources. Have you ever been to the Maldives before? Comment down below and let us know all about your visit. If you enjoyed the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, and also ring the YouTube bell to meet us again in the following video. Until next time.